Hey, Daniel, guess what we're doing? Well, you're wearing a cool t-shirt and have sleeves. I am dressed like a tool. Good guess. Very close. But you're wrong. We're trading places. Get it? Well, why, though? Why would we do that? Because we're going to talk about Ezekiel Elliott trade options. That seems just like a really awful and long-winded way to get to this segment. You're wrong, old man. <laughs> now, look, people in your league who are Ezekiel Elliott owners may be feeling pretty desperate today with a six-game suspension looming. Could be willing to move him for viable replacement. <laughs> a lot of hair here. But if Elliott's suspension begins next week, it would run from week seven through week 12, right? Putting him back in action just in time for the fantasy playoffs. So if you're a fantasy owner that's 5-0, and 4-1, and you're looking good for the playoffs. Consider making an offer for Elliott from a position of strength, knowing that you could land one of the top backs in football for when it really matters, the fantasy playoffs, giving you a fantasy dream team from week 13 on. And if you picked up Darren McFadden or Alfred Morris and you don't have Elliott, consider trading them for the right price. Again, it's going to be committee in Dallas. That line has struggled. Their value may be at its highest right now, as other, as other owners imagine, like, what it could be. If I had them and I did not have Zeke, I would certainly see what I could get. Remember, your trash can be another owner's treasure. And the best trades are those that help out both sides. I think I got the worst end of this trade right here. I think you look amazing. <laughs>